earth is known as the blue planet because 70 percent of the earth is covered by oceans seas and other water bodies 72 percent of the human body is made up of water so why is water so important that it is present in such a great amount well water forms a fluid medium in which fishes can swim similarly our cells have a watery matrix known as the cytoplasm and in the cytoplasm there are various molecules like these now interactions of these molecules are of utmost importance for the proper functioning of the cells if these interactions cease to happen it indicates a dead cell this interaction between the molecules that is present in the cytoplasm is known as cytoplasmic reactions now the water content of the blood helps in transporting the various nutrients in the body and it also helps in collecting the different waste products that are generated in the body cells when you squeeze an orange the skin of the orange looks wrinkled and flaccid similarly when we sweat a lot this is what our cells look like but before sweating our cells look swollen or turgid like this but when we sweat a lot a lot of water is diffusing out of the cells so the cells get a very wrinkled appearance when we sweat a lot why do we feel so thirsty well this is because sweat contains water and sodium water content is in a larger amount in the sweat than the sodium concentration so sodium is present in large amounts outside the cell and these sodium pull out the water from inside the cells causing dehydration of the cell since all the water gets uh, pulled out by the sodium molecules the body feels dehydrated and we feel the need to drink water now after rigorous exercises the body temperature increases but water helps in regulating this body temperature how well when we do rigorous exercises like running we sweat a lot and sweat contains a lot of water in it so while sweating we are losing a lot of water from the body so the water content of the sweat gets evaporated and when it gets evaporated it gives a cooling sensation to the body thus water helps in regulating the body temperature so the functions of water are it helps in cell reactions like cytoplasmic reactions it helps in the circulation of nutrients present in the food and also wastes generated in the cells it helps in regulating the body temperature now the daily requirement of water by our body is about 2 to 4 liters so water is a very essential component of our life 
water is needed by all the body cells to uh, function efficiently. So water is very important for all living organisms. If there is no water, life will cease to exist. So let us save water and then we will be able to save life.